everybody, welcome. So we'll start really, um, instead of seated for long, we're actually gonna come to our knees. Just wanted to make sure all the cameras are working okay. I'm working with a few cameras right now, so. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start on our hands and knees. If you need some padding for your knees, please use your blanket or towel. And what I want us to do, so we're doing yoga um, therapeutics for our lower back today. And what I want you to do is come to tabletop, find this nice foundation, and then just start to notice how your lower back feels. Now we've all done cat and cows before, but what I want us to do today is a sacrum cat cow. So it's gonna be like you're just tucking your tailbone under and then tilting it up. So really the upper back doesn't have to be involved much. And this is one that you're probably glad that you're doing without a lot of people watching or a mirror behind you. So we're tilting the sit bones up and then tucking them under. But what we're looking for is a deep connection into the lower belly. So we get this length happening in the lower, uh, lower back. So sometimes if we're sitting a lot in the day, we tend to get some discomfort into the lower back. And what we're doing here is tractioning that space. So a few more times, tailbone tilts up, and then tailbone tucks under. Good again, tailbone tilts up, and then tailbone tilts under. Good, now come back to neutral, and hopefully you feel that there is a little bit of work that's happened into this lower back. Hopefully a little bit more space has happened there for you. Now we're gonna come off of our hands and knees and come to our back. You can put your blanket off to the side. We're still gonna be warming up our lower back. So come all the way down. Notice your shoulder blades. Notice how your sacrum feels here. And I always like to just become an observer of my body for a moment here and notice which side of the sacrum feels heavier which side feels like it may be lower than the other. And then let's find our breath together. Take an inhale through your nose, let your belly get nice and full. And then breathe out through your mouth. Inhale through nose. And exhale through mouth. Last time like that, just releasing some pent up tension or energy that may just be no longer serving you and let it out through your mouth. Now with the breath in, draw your right knee in towards your chest and give it a nice squeeze. Maybe flex your foot, start to feel that compression of the thigh and to the right side of the belly. And then when you exhale next, I want you to round up and bring your forehead towards your knee or close. Inhale releases the head. Exhale releases the foot. Other side, inhale, pull left knee into chest. Pull it in tight for a moment. Take an extra breath here, just like you did on the other side. And then when you breathe out next, round up. Forehead to the knee or close. Inhale, release the head. Exhale, release the foot. We'll do two more times on each side. Inhale, right knee pulls into chest. Give it a nice squeeze. And then exhale, round forehead to knee. Inhale, releases the head. Exhale, releases the foot. Other side, inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, forehead to knee. Inhale, releases the head. Exhale, releases the foot. One more time, each side. Inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, forehead to knee. Inhale, releases the head. Exhale, releases the foot. Last time, inhale, knee to chest. Exhale, forehead to knee. Inhale, releases the head. Exhale, releases the foot. And observe as you're in this reclined position, again, the sacrum, so that triangle-shaped base of your lower back, the shoulder blades, how they feel. And then reach the arms and legs long for a moment. 
And as you reach them long, tilt your tailbone down. So you get this arch happening into your lower back and your thighs root further down towards the mat. You just kind of feel that release to the lower belly. And then we'll bend our knees. We're just gonna roll to one side, letting our head rest onto the arm, and then slowly pressing yourself all the way up. So next we're going to um, come into that SI freeing exercise. And we're gonna need our blanket or towel. So this one we have a staggered leg where one leg is in front of you, one leg is behind, and then I like to take the towel or the blanket and put it underneath the, uh, the sit bone of the leg that's in front. So these are just starting to warm up our lower back. This is particularly freeing for the um, SI area of your lower back. So if you tend to get asymmetric discomfort on one side of your lower back or the other, this helps balance that and even that out. So once you find this staggered seat, I want you to take your hand to your hip of the leg that's behind you, other arm kind of out to the side like a kickstand. And we're gonna roll the thigh in, roll it in and turn your chest to the right. And then as you breathe out, sink the sit bone back down. So we'll do this several times. What we're looking for is the feeling in the inner thigh, the lower belly, and you may even feel this into the lower back as well on the left side. So rolling the thigh in and then bringing it back down. So starting to look for an ease in the tissues here. It might feel pretty tight. I feel it pretty tight on the inner thigh on this left side. And today we'll probably take about a dozen of these. But when you do them at home, you could do these for as long as you want until you find this ease and release in the hip flexor here. Now what I want you to remember is as we go through these, these postures today, yours might look different than mine, and that's perfectly okay because none of our bodies are the same. So if I'm able to go further, or you're able to go further than I'm showing, please just go to where your body starts to feel it. What I like to say is that you know you're doing it right when you start to feel something happening. Um, and so that's what you're looking for, looking for sensation in the area of the inner thigh, the left, uh, the belly of the behind leg, and eventually just kind of release and tightness there. So we'll take a few more of these. These are postures you can do, or exercises, you can do at any point in your day. When you feel tightness in your back and your belly, in your hip flexors, just releasing all of this. Because when we release the psoas here and the inner thigh, it also helps free up the lower back. We'll take one more. And pause for a moment after you've done that and notice the sit bone of the leg that's behind. So the one that's supported here um, is hopefully elevated more to even up this other hip. But now this sit bone that is not elevated by the blanket should feel like it's descending, like you have this kind of release in the left side of the lower back or whatever leg is in front for you, or pardon me, behind for you. Notice that release, sit tall. One more breath like this. Now we're gonna come forward and move the towel or blanket out from behind the sit bone, kind of bring it to the other side for a moment. And now we're gonna twist towards this leg again, and start to kind of turn the pelvis and the belly towards the right. Now we're gonna take the left arm, or the same arm as the leg that's behind you, and start to reach it forward. Now your forward may be here, your forward may be all the way extended. But what I want you to try to do is with this right hand or the hand that's behind you, make a kickstand. Take a breath in and maneuver your navel, move it up and over the right thigh. And then as you breathe out, just slide or walk this hand, find this beautiful extension as you find this length happening through the whole torso and the left side of the lower back or the leg that's in front. So move the belly, reach long to the fingertips and take several breaths here. We're just working the belly to the front leg, walking this arm long, maybe releasing the head a little bit. 
And once you find this extension, you can make this even better. You can enhance it by extending back through the knee. So the leg that's behind you now reach as if that knee could touch the back of the room or the opposite wall from where you are. Move your navel, reach the knee, and walk the hand a little further. Release the tension in the back of the neck. Breathe big, so big that you feel it in the below the ribs. You feel this into the lower back. This should start to feel just really amazing. If it doesn't, come up until it feels good. Please don't push yourself to a place that's uncomfortable. Reach back to the kneecap. One more breath on this side. And then as we breathe in, start to walk your hands back and up. And center yourself for a moment. And notice the release that happens in the lower back on this side. This one is just really one of my favorites. I say it every time, but with the SI warm up and then this extension, you should feel a nice release in the lower back. So let's switch which leg is in front. <clears throat> Now, the leg that's in front needs to be boosted by the blanket or towel. Now, make it a height that makes this back leg feel comfortable or relatively even. So, sit bone feeling heavy and kind of notice the sensation to the inner thigh, maybe into the belly on this side. Pause before we start to move, just notice. So you have something to reflect on or to compare it to once we come back to the side or once we come back after we've moved for a bit. Hand onto the thigh, roll the thigh inward, start to twist the belly towards the front leg, sitting up nice and tall, and then as you breathe out, sink the hip back down. So start to just find these nice rolling actions. So we're looking for eventually some freedom and movement here. And just observe, observe the difference between this other, um, between the legs that we did on the other side, or the leg that we did on the other side. <clears throat> so I could feel on this side, it's, it's a little less easy to move it. Just take a few moments to notice when you twist, do you feel this into your belly? Do you feel this into your psoas or your hip flexors or down into the, the groin or even into the lower back? So you know it's working for you when you feel it, when you feel something. You know you've gone too far when it's uncomfortable. This is a great stabilization exercise for the SI joint. This one I love to do before an asana practice because we do find this freedom of movement. two more here. One more. Good. And sit for a minute and again observe. Observe the sit bone that is not touching the blanket. How does it feel? Can it feel like it's ascending more, like it's had a little ease um, in, or a little release so there's more ease and movement on this side? It should feel really nice, like there's definitely a change that's happened. So now that we've warmed up the inner thigh and the SI joint and the belly, we're gonna take this into that twist like we did on the other side. So start to twist your belly towards the front leg. Reach your opposite arm up and start to reach until you feel like you can't reach any further. Now your navel must move. So with this back hand, like a kickstand, we're going to move the navel and extend. So I'm gonna scoot back to the camera a little bit here. You can see a little bit better. Arm extends, reach, and just start to, as you move your navel, extend through the arm. And again, this kickstand with the back hand helps you push down, move navel over, and reach. So you're taking this arm as far as it'll allow you. Now, as you find this extension, if you need more, the back leg is your key. I want you to push through the back kneecap as if it's touching the opposite side of the room for you. And keep extending, keep holding, And start to really appreciate the, the subtle subtlety of moving the navel, of finding a soft enough belly that you can find this twist. 
reach back to the knee, reach through the arm, a few more breaths here. Should feel all this length happening into the lower back of the leg that's um, behind you. Let's do one more here. And then start to walk the hands all the way back up. Slowly come back to center and feel it out. Feel how the sit bone on this side is lower. Take a few breaths and hopefully that lower back on this side feels good. If you have time, even for just one of these in a day, these two are my favorite, the SI release and then the extension. You'll find a lot of freedom in your lower back this way. So we're gonna come off of the blanket next and move your blanket off to the side. Next what we're gonna do is we are going to, um, we are gonna take the block and come onto our back. So grab the block and bring it in between the knees. And I want you to squeeze it pretty, pretty firmly. And we're gonna come all the way onto the back. So with the knees in towards, um, maybe about over hips, they could come in a little bit. That distance is, is not mandatory. But find it where you feel that the lower belly is starting to work. You're squeezing the inner thighs. And now also squeeze the outer thighs. Get a pretty firm grip on the block. Let your arms come out to the side. They could be goal posts or straight out, really whatever's comfortable for you. And what I want us to do is we're gonna drop our knees slightly to one side. But what I want you to do is try to keep the knees in alignment. So as I'm dropping my knees to the right, I'm extending length through my left knee. So they stay even. So this means I likely can't go too far. I know I can't go that far, but you might be able to. Keeping them even. Now use your breath and work the opposite side shoulder blade back down towards the earth. So we're here just about five breaths. So the work is in, inner thigh squeezing, extension happening through the knee, opposite shoulder blade reaching down. Only go as far as you comfortably can. If it's not comfortable, then don't go this far, please. Use your breath in and strong belly to come back to center. Pause. Flex your feet. Knees to the other direction. So I'm going to keep my top knee extending length. So normally as you drop your knees in one direction, one leg gets shorter, if you will. So I'm going to keep extending through the knee. Only going as far as I, as I can that I can keep the shoulder blade down. few more breaths. Squeeze inner knees, squeeze outer thighs, reach through top kneecap. And then breathe in, come back to center. Move the block, place your feet on the ground. Pause and feel the work that was in your lower belly, but also in strengthening the lower back. Back of the hands rest. to meet our strap. You could reach your arms over your head, maybe roll to the side, grab your strap, or if it's nearby, then, um, you know, you'll need it. And actually, you know what, I want to do a different one before that, so keep your strap nearby, but let's grab the block. I forgot about this one last time, and I don't want to forget about it this time, so I'm going to get it in while I'm thinking about it. So, come to a kneeling position. Support your knees if you need to with a blanket or a block. We're going to take this other leg out as if we were going to take like a modified um, warrior two or extended side angle. I'm going to align the knee with the front of, um, pardon me, the heel with the front of my knee. You can use a block if you have one. If not, you can use your elbow here. What we're going to do is get a really nice lateral stretch for our side body, our waist, and our lower back. So we're going to take the hand down to the block. Other arm's going to reach over, so that we're just in this modified side angle. If this is too far, again, you could have an elbow resting on your leg, but try not to collapse. So I want you to kind of scoop under your front buttock, other arm straight up, and start to just lean over. So 
start to reach this modified extended side angle. Reach to the top hand like you're going to touch something far away from you. And now I want you to reach, um, scoop under your right buttock and keep reaching. So as you lean to the side, find this beautiful length. Pull your belly in so you're isolating the front body. This helps release some of the weight. So you're, all we're doing is taking this really nice modified side angle. If you need more depth, you could take your hand further down. But it's not so much about the front thigh work. I want you to feel this in the back. So reach to the knee, reach to the fingertips, pull your belly in strong. If you find yourself wanting to collapse forward, that's your reminder to open up. Side body long, belly in strong, about three more breaths. Reach like you're touching the opposite side of the room. Belly strong, supporting your back. You should feel this right into the lower back of the leg that is um, your base leg right here. Two more breaths. This might be my third favorite. Come all the way up. In between, you might take both knees back to the ground and notice the difference. This side likely feels significantly different than the other side. So much freedom in the waist and in the lower back. I love that one. I might have said I love all of these so far. <laughs> okay, other foot out. Align your foot and your knee. Hand could be on um, thigh if you're not collapsing, or hand could be on block or something on the ground. Get this back leg comfortable. Kind of scoop your left buttock under for support. Pull your belly in and tight. Hand down to block or earth and start to reach. Now, I really want your belly to be pulled in because if we soften it, our buttocks is going to go back and it's going to kind of take the stretch from um, more into the front body and less into the side body. So left belly, pardon me, right side belly in, left buttock under, and reach, reach, reach. Now as you find depth, you could likely come a little further down. Reach till you feel this in the side waist, in the lower back. Roll the heart space open and reach. I'm hoping that you're like, wow, this feels amazing in my back. Again, if you're rolling forward, chest opens, chest opens, belly pulls in, reach. Let's take one more full breath here. Good, and then come all the way back up. Yay for that. Coming to the knees. And you might even come to sit on your heels for a moment. If that's not accessible, you might sit onto the block, which would look like this from the side. So observe the space that you've made in your lower back so far. That's what this practice is about, is finding enough time, these subtle exercises that we can get in in the day that just find this freedom in our back that anybody can do. Okay, next one. We are going to, um, now we'll use the block, pardon me, now we'll use our blanket or towel and the strap. So what we're going to do is come into, come onto your lower back like you were coming into a bridge pose. Bring your strap with you. Lift up your butt and place your blanket on your sacrum. And find a place where it's comfortable. Make sure you feel okay there. If you need a different height of the um, blanket, please, please do. But this, even in itself, should feel very comforting for the lower back. Next, we're going to take our strap and we're going to place it over our foot. So you could either take the strap um, open all the way or you can have it in a loop, it's up to you. So strap. We're going to place it over our heel. Bring my reminder back over here. Okay. So what we're going to do first is place it over both heels. Align your sacrum so it feels comfortable with legs up, whether your knees are bent or straight. And I want you to make this strap into kind of a wall. So with feet hip distance apart, you could either X the strap so you're keeping them from coming together. You want your feet to stay hip distance. So I'm going to make this nice X with my strap and I'm going to press out into
to the chest. So you feel your thigh bones kind of widen. You feel your sacrum kind of press further into the mat. Now, start to feel as if you're pressing your sacrum down and like it could spread out, like it was butter melting in the sun. And then start to let your shoulder blades widen onto the mat. So we're pressing our feet outward into this strap that we've made a brace with. So brace um, with the strap, feet press in the strap, sacrum presses down. Few breaths here. Keep pressing feet out into strap. Keep spreading, if you can, the sacrum flat onto the mat, or onto your blanket, pardon me. And if you need more, see if you can take the, the rib cage and kind of press it down into the mat. Good, bend your knees. You can take the strap off for a moment, give them a squeeze. Next, we're gonna go back to one leg. So take the strap over the heel. Make sure it's the heel, and then you may wanna circle around the strap a few times. And we're gonna extend the other leg straight to a hover, inseam of this leg. So I'm working right leg up, left leg down. Inseam of my left leg is kind of spiraling in, and I know you might not be able to see my whole leg on this one. So um, left leg is spiraling down. I'm going to pull down this right leg and press back up. So we're finding this kind of resistance. And now I want you to turn your whole right foot, especially your right toes to the right. But what I'm really doing is externally rotating this front thigh, this uh, right thigh, the leg that's up. And then I'm going to bring it back to neutral where toes point to um, towards your head. So let's try it again. Rotate the thigh out, press through heels, both heels that is and then come back to neutral. So try this a few times. We're rotating the leg out. You might get this vibration happening in the leg. I know I am. And then back to neutral. You're still extending strongly to the leg that's extended, right? That's not being um, held by the strap. And you're spiraling the inseam of the leg that's lower to the ground down. You feel it's deep into the lower belly. So do a lot of work, lower belly. Back to neutral, good. Take the strap off. Let the heels go to the ground of both legs. Readjust your back. Reach the arms over the head. You'll feel as your arms reach up and over your head and your heels drop down, but your sacrum is supported by this blanket that your thighs root back, that the psoas drops further down towards, uh, back in towards the body. And just reach long through your fingers and your toes. Likely the leg that you just worked with the strap also feels longer here. Okay, other side. Knees pull in. Opposite leg. Wrap around, uh, wrap around the strap a few times. Flex the foot. Other leg extends. Now make sure your sacrum feels supported. So I feel that I'm having to adjust a little bit as well. So I felt supported with the um, blanket again. So pull down on the strap, press up into the strap, push through the heel that is not held by the strap and spiral that inner thigh down. Lower belly, hold in tight. Now externally rotate the left toes, left outer thigh kind of rolls out, inner thigh rolls up, and then back to neutral. So you're taking this a few times pulling down, pressing up, spiraling out. And back to neutral. So as you rotate, make sure you're extending long through the heel, spiraling that thigh down, which works the belly. This is tractioning out our lower back. So amazing. This is, again, one of my favorites. I think I said that for all of these. <laughs> Why would we do anything that wasn't our favorite? I mean, really. So a few more times, spiral it out. Push through both heels. Both legs are rocking. Both my legs are shaking because I'm working this much. Um, so you might find that as well. And if you don't, that's okay. All right, back to neutral. 
shimmy that strap off, extend so both heels touch the ground. Adjust your back so this feels good again on the sacrum. The heels are lower, arms up and overhead, back supported. So you'll feel this into the belly. This is a relief for the belly. So it feels so good on the lower back, this nice support happening here. Take a few more breaths, just noticing how the thighs root back. How sacrum feels supported here. And how you get this big full belly breath happening. Now bend your knees and walk your feet back towards your sit bones. Lift your butt and shimmy this blanket down so now it supports your thighs. So now your thighs are supported, so your lower back and sacrum feel better here. Let the hands go, let the shoulder blades roll underneath you. Notice how your heels feel. And this should feel kind of like a, a hug for the back of the legs, this support of your towel or your blanket. And the shoulders roll underneath. And just notice the freedom in the lower back, taking the pressure off with the support of a blanket. 